six cruises to tempt you with. I'm joined by my fantastic co-presenter, who's always on the cruise ships. Nice to see you, Nice Emma. to see you as well. And I tell you what, we have got such a good show coming up. And I've already started my Christmas shopping, I will admit. And I was thinking well the great thing, I know, uh, but I was thinking the great thing about today is we've got some really fabulous, really well-priced cruises, but with very, very low deposits. So oh. if, like me, you've been getting a bit fed up with the weather, it's been so gloomy, and need a holiday to look forward to, get one in the diary for next year, know that you've got some sunshine come up but really hardly spend anything right now yeah great it's idea, really great idea. idea. and Gemma is our expert from planet cruise so you've uh, been on quite a few cruises recently haven't you just, yes uh, and and what is so lovely between us i think i've been on 20 cruises we're here just to give you all the information and advice that you need later on in the show by the way you're going to meet chris and uh, towards the end of the show, and Chris is from Planet Cruise, he's one of the cruise consultants. He's going to tell you why to book with Planet Cruise, all of the benefits, and uh, is here to help. So Absolutely. Chris will be with us a little bit later. And at half past eight, as you mentioned, we've got an amazing cruise yeah. to Royal Caribbean. Oh, yes, a really fantastic one. So, yes, 8.30. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Yes. And keep your eye out for a single special as well. But here's um, our first cruise, and it's a half-price offer. So this is actually half the original price at 529 and it's the peak date when you look at the most expensive time to holiday yeah. August that's right. The, the lead date is the 8th of August, but also that's traditionally a time when you know that a lot of families and, and noisy children are on holiday. Gemma can say this because Gemma is a mum. <laughs> yeah, I am a mum. Yeah, so when I say noisy children, I'm talking about my own. But with this ship, it's an adult-only ship. Wow. So nice opportunity to go yeah. away, nice inexpensive So if you're worried to get away in August, there might be a lot of children around, not a single one on this, uh, <laughs> not on this. ship. And it's a brand new ship uh, to the fleet, I should say. That's uh, they've right. just acquired the ship called the Magellan, of course. But let's talk about Cruise and Maritime because they're a really friendly company, Absolutely. really down to earth. Yeah, British uh, cruise line, and you get your fantastic value for money with this you cruise. You do, don't you? And as you say, this particular ship is a new addition to their traditional five-strong fleet. Uh, it's called the Magellan, and it's named after the famous Portuguese explorer. And this is going to be its maiden season in 2015. So it's a really lovely, comfortable interior. It is adult only, which means for those of you who just want to totally unwind in a very relaxed atmosphere or just socialize, you know, with a load of other people that you might want to meet on board, this is the ship for you. Um, the home port is Tilbury, but you've Lovely. also got so departure points if you ever want to cruise with them from other places. But it's great food on board as well. You've got the Waldorf and the Kensington restaurants. Lovely spa, as you can see. Great service friendly staff, um, you're going to have a great time basically. And this is all about value, for you to get away for eight nights yeah. on the 8th of August for £529 per person is amazing, but it yeah. is a half price offer and only a deposit needed tonight by the way, to skew your place on board, just £150 per person. Um, and when we talk about the ports, they're going to be beautiful, aren't they? Oh, oh. yes, yeah. so we are off to the Scottish Isles and, and the Faroes and you know, at this time of year, if you get some nice sunshine, it's going to be really gorgeous sailing around this part of the world. Stunning scenery. Yeah. And uh, as we mentioned, this is the latest addition to her fleet. So this will be the maiden season on board the Magellan. Um, right. Let's show you where you're going to be cruising to. So we're starting off at the port of Tilbury. That's so right. No flights, everything's easy. The great thing is when you are cruising from the UK, you can take as much luggage as you like. It's a real well. benefit actually because yeah, you don't have to worry about the, the weight of your luggage or no. the size of the bottles of the toiletries that you're taking and then you arrive and your bag will be taken off and the next time you see it, you'll be in your cabin and off you go. So we've got a day at sea and then we're arriving in Lerick, which is in the Shetland Islands. Um, it's actually Shetland's only town with a population of about 7,500 500. Oh, I mean, I know. It's really gorgeous. Really beautiful. I mean, look at this scenery that you can see here. And then on the waterfront, you've got these amazing sandstone buildings. Um, and you can just wander around on foot or go up to the hillside and overlook the harbour. Um, you've got some beautiful ruins you can go and visit. Famous, of course, for the Shetland ponies. Maybe you will spot one. And then we're going to Torshavn in the Faroe Islands. Um, and you arrive there on day four. The Vikings were amongst the first people to set foot here. You imagine as they saw this remote, rugged scenery. 
And in fact, it's the same scenery that the cruise ship passengers are seeing now. Look at these lovely puffins. So Torshavn is the capital of the Faroe Islands. Um, and you can reach most part of the islands in about 90 minutes or less. You've got loads of outdoor activities in various forms. So if you want to go hiking or bird watching or fishing. But you can also just walk into the town from where the cruise ship docks, which is quite nice, and have a little wander. Gem, just thinking it's ridiculous. You know, I, I've never ever been here, and yet it's I actually, know, you know, know so yeah. close to home. It's Absolutely. ridiculous. Absolutely, you don't and, have to go that far. And everyone says so beautiful. Where next, then, Gemma? Well, then we're off to Kirkwall in the Orkney Islands. Uh, Kirkwall is the capital of Orkney. So it's a little town on the northern shore. And again, I've never been here, but it looks so beautiful, doesn't it? And in August, again, it's the perfect oh, it time is, of year it? to visit visit these places it really is um, and then what's really nice about this itinerary is that you sail into Leith which basically means Edinburgh I'm not sure how that no. accent was, um, but Sharon, who's Scottish, will <laughs> be upstairs going, oh my word. But Edinburgh, I love. I've been so many times, and it is such a beautiful city. And of course, at this time of year, it is buzzing with culture, with the, all the, um, the, the festival, of course, well, the French I, festival, yeah, the comics. Say, I, I've been to Edinburgh several times, the most beautiful city, but I've always wanted to go to the Edinburgh Festival. Oh. But to get accommodation is a nightmare. Yes. And we're actually there overnight on board as the festival is taking place. Yeah, absolutely we? amazing. So you can catch some shows. You might go and see some. I remember seeing Johnny Vegas years ago at Edinburgh Festival before, what, before he was, was famous. famous. Yeah, and he was so funny. He actually got my friend on stage and married her. But that's another story. So we, so we could <laughs> act, so we could see a show, of course, because they're yeah, overnight on board. Exactly. And of course, you'll want to go to Prince's Street, and you've got so much to do. The Royal Mile, the Edinburgh Castle has got to be seen as well. And then day eight, you're back at sea, and day nine, sail back to Tilbury. So it's a really nice cruise. Um, and. As we mentioned, it is a half price offer tonight for this one day, the 8th of August, from just £529 per person. The ships in general with um, cruise and maritime tend to be smaller, more intimate ships, yeah. don't they? Yeah. And again, talking here of the deposit, you know, £150. So if you've got your money put aside for Christmas, well, at least, you know, you can do that, secure your holiday and get through the uh, rather grim weather that we've got at the moment. Now you've got a nice little break coming up in August. Uh, and, and don't forget, this is the latest addition to the fleet as well. So that is the, the maiden season. 529 is the price tonight, and it is an adults-only ship. So, you know, I know there's always that little bit of a, a danger when you are going away in August, and if you don't want to be, I shouldn't say daft or terrible, say that, you know, oh, it's we, we love our kids. Yeah, but, of course. And, you know, but, but if you haven't got children, then sometimes being in an adult-only environment, let's face it, that's something that yeah. you would want, want to have. Other people's children <laughs> can be quite annoying. <laughs> well, 529, half by self, as you mentioned, the maiden season of the brand-new mm. ship, Who's that among one of the, you're going to be one of the first to sail on her, of course, mm -hmm. as well. We've got a single special on this one actually from eight to nine as well. So great single price, and you're going to be eight nights on board. Now, very important, you you know maybe you've never called Planet Cruise before. It is a free phone number. Our phone lines are open till ten thirty tonight and eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So even if you you just tempted or you've just got some questions, yeah, or actually. And I hope we find your cruise tonight, but don't forget, if you don't see something like tonight, but you fancy the idea of a cruise, we can find you any cruise with any cruise liner, any length, anywhere in the world. And uh, we're going to be seeing and meeting Chris from the call centre a little bit later on. 529, though, is the price on that first half-price cruise. Now, Gemma, the last time we, we brought a cruise with Costa yeah. over to Dubai, it was a top seller. It was, it uh, was. It was sold like hotcakes, so we have brought it back by popular demand. We always make sure that we, you know, really have a look at what you are absolutely loving, and so that's why we bought this cruise, well, because it is opportunity. Tonight, we'll talk about Costa first of all, because um, as a brand, first of all, Costa ships are fantastic. They've got so many great facilities, haven't they? Absolutely, and this is very much a ship you can take your children on. This is a very sort of like family feel. Uh, they do lovely sort of Mediterranean cruises usually. So you've got a very Mediterranean flavour in a lot of the restaurants. Um, yeah, a very nice sort of continental feel. It's a really comfortable, lively cruise experience that you're going to have. And the two main dining rooms do offer a taste of Italy, which is my favourite sort of cuisine. Um, beautiful surroundings, fantastic service. And the dress code, if you've never cruised before and you think it's all about sort of like wearing long, elegant dresses, no, not at all. You can be really chilled out and laid back. You can be very casual, but you, you get formal evenings as well. 
you can sort of play it how you want it. And, and again, you know, if you've never been on a cruise, and I only took my first cruise when I was 40, so six years ago, I've been on 20 since, I've been very lucky. There is, there is so much to do on board. You could mm. never be bored. These are no. floating resorts that will offer you such variety in terms of restaurants, bars, entertainment, spa facilities, whirlpools, swimming pools, amazing food, you know, yeah. it doesn't get better. Actually, one of the reasons why we think this has been a bestseller in the past, well, we know, it's the price. When you look at a return flight to Dubai, yes. You can actually be paying this sort of money just for flights. Absolutely, you? and, and more, when you think actually. you've got your accommodation, your travel, and your food sort of all covered, yeah. it's, it it's is absolutely unreal. This one is ridiculous, yeah. and a crazy single price. You just saw it there. And last time we brought it, this to singles were the most popular cabins, and and we had so many sellouts. That single price tonight is six nine nine. But do not delay for a second. And the most amazing activity, so we are including your flight, by the way. You are getting yeah. a return flight to Dubai. And actually, it's an overnight flight. So your first day, you're going to get the, the most of that first day, aren't you? Absolutely. You're going to wake up, you'll transfer over to the port, and you will embark the Costa Serena for seven nights cruising. And then you've actually got an overnight on board in Dubai when you arrive, which is fabulous. So you get to really drink in the flavour of Dubai if you've never been there before. And that's a really good thing because there's so much to see. It's quite an incredible place. Um, actually, a lot of people I know have been to Dubai, they, they go back. They, uh, they absolutely love it. Um, you'll see some real sites as you can I, see the more traditional markets and the desert, but also amazing buildings, yeah. skyscrapers like this one here, famous spots like the Burj Khalifa, the Burj Al Arab Hotel. You want to go and do a bit of golf? You can. Oh, you can eat. Well, you can do anything. You can do a bit of snowboarding. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Even things like the shopping malls are just unreal. Everything's kind of bigger and better and glitzier and incredible. And the standards, so. you know, where, where you get the seven-star hotels and restaurants. Oh, you? I know. I mean, there's a lot of sort of like what money and wealth. So in some of these places you want to just go and just have a look and because it's unreal. In terms of shopping, I know yeah. you love your shopping, Gemma. It doesn't get better, does it? No, it just. And as I say, even if you're not actually buying anything, you're just wandering around, having a look. You know. It's just, it's pretty amazing. So that is Dubai, and, really fantastic. And you might, you know, you are, say, overnight on board, you might just spend a few hours in Dubai and sunbathe on the ship, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's the lovely thing about cruise. It's not like you're pressured to do anything. You can no, totally not. plan your time as you want. It's your holiday. Right, so then we're off uh, sailing and we arrive in Muscat and we've got another overnight on board. And Muscat in Oman, there couldn't be a more beautiful setting. The old part of the town um, is just stunning. You've got all these mountains around it and a really beautiful waterfront. And the Corniche is flanked by a 16th century hilltop fort you've got the grand mosque there as well um you know and you get that real feeling of being somewhere that is exotic and and not like you know being in europe it's really I tell exciting you what, this, is, this is on my wish list this one it really yeah is. it's a great itinerary oh, this. Yeah. you know and, and Gemma. you know overnight you're going to see those wonderful sunsets then day six we're arriving in kassav in oman which is 300 miles away from muscat now this has been referred to before as the norway of arabia because Although you've got this mountainous scenery, you've got the fjords as well. And amazing marine life too. Beautiful mountains, untouched beaches, shopping galore, sights to see like the fort there. So a lot of stuff to do and see. And then we arrive on day seven in Abu Dhabi. Which again, it's a bit more like Dubai. Um, you've got loads to do. Um, you could go to, for instance, the Arabian Wildlife Park, visit the Grand Mosque again. Look yeah, at that. That's, that's what absolutely to do. amazing. Um, go to the souk and do a bit of bartering. Uh, go and do um, a visit to Ferrari World, maybe, for something a bit yeah, different. It's like a yeah. theme park and it's all Ferrari based. So Any car be, lovers out really there. Great, yeah. Really fun. Everything again is sort of done on a really big scale. You've got the Emirates Palace as well and these amazing sort of night sky lines just really fantastic and then you're back onto the ship and you sail to Dubai and then at the end you get another overnight on board. So you really do get to see the best yeah. of Dubai, don't so you? Yeah, so it'd be lovely because if you're thinking, oh, I wish we we just didn't quite have time to do that, where well, you get the opportunity to go back and work and out what you, you want to do. Can you see why this has been a top seller in the past? It is back tonight by popular demand. I don't think it gets better than this. To, to be on board such a wonderful ship. It's a very, very beautiful oh. decor in it as well. She's it's very really sumptuous. quite opulent, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, there's something very, very luxurious about cruising, isn't there? Um... What I 
really still find hard to believe and and, and this is the, the benefit of booking with planet cruise years of experience often exclusive deals uh, and obviously, we potentially are in tens of millions of homes right now, so you really can get the most amazing prices. Just for a return flight to Dubai, I'm sure many of you have paid more than this, 599 you can go and get an eight-night cruise, those return flights, and the single price, this was a top-selling single cruise, 699 on selected dates as well. Yeah. Um, I would love to do that one because it's a part of the world that I haven't seen. And we were talking, Gemma, earlier, you know, when it comes to the weather in January, February, March, you know, mm. there's, there's always the Canaries, but maybe you've done the Canaries, the Caribbean, but that can be quite expensive. So this is a great option to get some winter sun, isn't Absolutely it? Absolutely fantastic. I remember last year, one of my best friends was in Dubai around sort of that time where I get a bit blue, like around sort of January, yeah. February. She was putting face photos on Facebook. Oh. I was so jealous. Well, that could Quite be you. Blue sky. Um, just have a really good look at those prices on the screen, because what we've done for you, so have a, have a really good look here. We've broken the dates down, so there are all the dates available. Prices for the inside, the outside, the Ocean View balcony, a suite, and take a really good look at those single prices mm. because we've got some really low single prices. Yeah. They will go. We know this from past history. They will be probably the most popular cabins, and obviously there is limited availability. Um, so... If you're tempted with that one, give us a call right now on that free phone, phone number, 0800 840 1088. Now, moving on to P&O next. Um, this is a company with decades and decades of experience. Very British in terms of their entertainment, great food, great standards. And here to tell you more about them is, of course, our host from the Friday show. So we also always uh, have a show on Friday, don't forget, at 11 in the morning. Here is the one and only Keith Maynard. At just 77,000 tonnes, P&O Cruises Oceana may not be the biggest in the fleet, but she certainly packs a mighty punch. Fresh from her recent refitting, she was extensively and expensively refurbished and looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, you know, as a proud Englishman, the centre of my universe has always been my local pub. And on P&O's Oceania, you really won't go wrong by visiting this beautiful yacht and compass nautically themed pub which serves up a healthy selection of Britain's best. On top of that, you can really live the high life on this ship with the bubbles of the Magnum Champagne Bar or dancing into the wee hours in the chic Le Club. Whether you choose the more traditional fixed dining of the Adriatic or the freedom dining of the Ligarian, both restaurants serve up consistently delicious food from an ever smiling army of knowledgeable waiters. For those who prefer their dining al fresco, then why not try a super tender steak at the Horizon Grill on Deck 14? You're guaranteed great taste and even better views. Or pop along and let Marco Pierre White dazzle your taste buds at Café Jardin. Friendly and interactive, as well as diverse, Oceana offers many entertainment options, from the high-rolling fun of the Monte Carlo Club to the cabaret and comedy of Starlights. You can pop along to the atrium for a classical recital or head here for a pint and watch your favourite team in the winner's sports bar. And then, after a great meal, go to the Footlights Theatre, where you'll be hard-pressed to believe that you're not actually sitting in the West End. Stylish and inviting, Oceana's cabins come in all shapes and sizes, from spacious and fully equipped suites like this, offering a host of extra special touches to mini suites, balcony cabins, and standard inside or outside cabins. But all come with a host of mod cons and a daily steward service, plus the all important tea and coffee making facilities. Because if you're like me, you can't even face the rest of the world without at least one cup of coffee. I'm, I'm exactly the same. The same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's two, though. Yeah, it is <laughs> then me. I'm two, fine. Two strong ones. Yeah. Um, Great brand, great company. What is really nice tonight for you to secure your place in modern to get this low price? It's only a fifty pound deposit, isn't it? I know. It? I mean, you know, it's just fantastic. It even it, means if your partner's not around, you're like, I, d I want to get this at this good price. Just kind of do it, secure and, it. And it is nice securing your your cabin, uh, having it to look forward to. But you really do only have to find fifty pounds tonight. We do know this is going to be a top side fifty pound deposit. Then you can look forward to it as well. Yeah. Right. Uh, lovely itinerary because we're. 
First of all, flying you to Venice, and we're yes. cruising out of Venice. We are, yeah. Really nice itinerary, this. There's not one duff port on here. Uh, so we're sailing, uh, we're at sea for day two. Day three, you arrive in Montenegro in Kator. And part of the lovely thing here is actually entering the Bay of Kator. And just, just before we move on, that, those, the stills of Venice, it's one of the most beautiful ports to cruise out of. Oh, it? absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Yes, I mean, that's an experience in itself. Isn't You're it? right, yeah. So sailing out of Venice, into Montenegro, which will take a couple of days, and you go into the bay, and you literally glide for about an hour through the mountains on a 17-mile waterway. So it's a lovely entry into this stunning place where you've got this amazing old town and lots to go and see. And then day four, you then arrive in Corfu, which is a beautiful island. Um, I've had a few holidays there and it's just gorgeous. I love holidaying in Greece. I love the food, the people. It's always very stunning. You can go and visit the Monastery of the Virgin Mary. You've got Corfu Town. You've got a lovely little mouse island you could get a little boat over to. Day five, we're at sea. And then day six, we're arriving in Rome. And, you know, what isn't there to do in Rome? There are some musts. If you've never been to the Colosseum before or the Trevi Fountain, do go and have a look. Rome's a fabulous city for wandering around on foot. It is, isn't it? It yes. really is. Yeah, it is. And then, of course, you've got the Vatican. You've got the famous Michelangelo and the Sistine Chapel that you saw there. The I mean, Colosseum, there are, yeah, really, just yeah, huge, big, iconic sites to see. And more besides, I love Rome, it's so beautiful. And, and as Gemma said, very accessible. The port is City of you can get the train into Rome, it's really That's easy. Right. Or of course, there'll always be, um, say, excursions that you could do, of course, as well. Yeah, another thing that Planet Crews are great at organising as well. And then, oh, a real highlight after Yeah, that, isn't it? so as I say, all of these places are really beautiful places to go. Monte Carlo in Monaco, talk about ending on a glamorous note. Uh, I you love know, Monte Carlo. It's the playground of the rich and famous. One of the funniest things is watching everybody with their designer shades and their amazing outfits. Just, just the cars there as the well. The cars, I know it's kind of like standard to have a Ferrari and it's like wow um, and you've got you know famous things like the Royal Palace of course they're famous for their royal family um, you could go into Cannes if you wanted to it's just you'll feel you'll have such fun and then you sail into um, Genoa disembark transfer to the airport and fly back to London after a really magical holiday Do you know when you see all of those fabulous ports there why wouldn't you want to do a cruise when you get to see so much of the world in one holiday yeah and, and just back to the ships themselves so much to do. The standards on a cruise ship are far higher than a land holiday in general, aren't they? Far yeah, higher. I think so. I think that the cruise lines are so competitive now as well. They know the food has got to be good, yeah. you know? It's all word of mouth. And the food, you, I mean, is, is excellent. And, and so much more is included, you know? All of your meals, remember. Um, return flights are obviously included in this one. We can always, and this is another important reason why you should think about booking with Planet Cruise tonight. We can really, really, you know, find airports that are near to you. We can add on hotel stays. We can make holidays bespoke for you. But there you can see that if those flights in London aren't suitable, we could find them from Birmingham or Manchester. Single price is really good on this one as well. Um, some of the items will differ slightly. It may operate in reverse, just depending on the departure date. And again, a lot of you have been asking what price is it for this date or that date. So we've got a whole breakdown. Just have, have a little second to look at those. We can see really good pricing across you the know, board You know, for me, it sounds like a funny thing it's such a luxury to pick up a phone on a free phone number and actually have a conversation with a human being because I do a lot of stuff online sometimes and then I think oh what's that or oh, is it right or oh, I don't know and it drives me mad and then if it's not a free phone number I'm just stressed to get oh, off the right. phone because yeah. you think how much is this costing so you can ask anything you like and take your time N now um a family of four would love that cruise and you can actually book that right now with just a deposit of 200 pounds as well so you know, cruises are great for everyone. We can find you a perfect cruise, whether you're single, a couple, a family, an extended family. They really will be the right cruise for you. We guarantee that with yeah. Planet Cruise. And we love the fact that tonight you can secure your cabin. You're not waiting until it's too late and all the, you know, the lower price cabins have gone or the best cabins have gone. You can secure your place on this cruise tonight for just a £50 deposit. Now, we, we are... Um, I'm already halfway through the show, which means hot pick time. Now, if you've Ooh. never seen these, a hot pick is always uh, something really, really good. It might be a late deal. This one is a mini cruise on board the five-star Queen Elizabeth.
for four nights from 399 and you even get an all-inclusive drinks package. And Gemma, we were looking at that because we, we like to study the drinks packages. We do. It was very good, wasn't it? It was very good. You could basically have anything that went up to, I think it was $9, $9 wasn't it? Yeah. So that was um, house wines, it was um, your beers, even certain cocktails up to $9 a glass. Um, yeah, and that's the kind of thing that on a holiday anywhere can add up and then you get a little bit like at the end of the, the holiday, oh my goodness. Yes. So it's really nice to have that. Um, and also, if you'd like to go for the balcony, four nine nine. Um, that is amazing. Bear in mind the Queen Elizabeth is five star luxury. You'll be amazed at the service, the entertainment, um, and don't forget. We're always here on a Tuesday at 8, but we have our second show this Friday at 11 a.m. with our Keith, of course. And we'd love you to stay in touch. There are various ways of doing that as well. Our newsletter, our journey magazine, and our brand new website, all the w's.planetcruise.co.uk forward slash TV. But we did mention at the top of the show that we had an outstanding cruise with Royal Caribbean. And it's on board the Legend of the Seas. Uh, we know from the Planet Cruise headquarters that a lot of the, the cruises over to Thailand and um, Cambodia, Vietnam, Singapore, yeah. they're selling really quickly, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, they, they, there are sort of fashions and trends of where people like to go. And at the moment, this is such a great tailor-made holiday, isn't yeah. it? This one is exclusive to Planet Cruise. Mm. And it's actually at a brand new lower price. So before we dazzle you with this itinerary, let's give you a taste of Royal Caribbean. They were actually the first cruise that I took. Uh, I've actually cruised with Royal Caribbean four times now. Oh, really? They, they wow. Offer, they offer so much. I mean, you've been on board the Oasis recently, haven't you, Gemma? Absolutely, which was just breathtaking. You know, you just didn't know where to look. There was so much to see, so much to do. And uh, The Legend of the Seas is one of their mid-sized cruise liners with equally amazing facilities. Um, that's really what Royal Caribbean do so well. Um, you've got... <laughs> I don't even know where to start. The restaurants that you can see here are serving up the most delicious food. Um, you've got the specialty restaurants, but you've also got the Romeo and Juliet main dining room. You can go more casual, go to the pizza parlor or the wind jammer, but some beautiful places for really romantic dinners like Giovanni's as well. And the food, honestly, you will eat so well. You know those kind of meals that you remember? Yeah. Memorable meals. And Casino in the evening, you've got the theatre, you've got the nightclub, you've got the optics, teen disco, the ice rink. I mean, you know, you're, you're at sea and, on a ship. And I, I can't skate, but I tell you what, the, the ice skating shows on board are absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Royal Caribbean in general, their, their entertainment is, is definitely West End standard. Yeah, and also, do you know what, in the daytime when the shows aren't going on, you can actually go and skate yourself as well, yeah. which is, I think, is amazing. I, I tried I it with skating. my niece and she was very good, I was useless. Yeah, but they also, you know, have things like, um, you know, if you want to go and do a bit of karaoke or if you want to go and see a lecture or a demonstration and learn yeah. something new, on a ship this size, there is something for you, everyone. You, you will, will never, be bored, ever, ever, ever be bored. No. But again, this is uh, an exclusive with Planet Cruise and it is a trip of a lifetime. And it starts off with your flight to Singapore, doesn't it? Yes, it certainly does. And we are off. We fly from London Gatwick to Singapore um, and then we transfer from the airport to a five-star hotel for a two-night stay, which is really nice. And, you know, of course, this is all included as well. So it's amazing value for money. Now, in Singapore, there's a lot of traditional sites to go and see, but there's also Orchard Road, which is really famous, where tourists tend to kind of gravitate towards. It's a big retail stretch um, where you've got all your big labels and things. Now, that there you're looking at is um, uh, one of the theme parks you can go and see. You've got Universal Studios and you've got the Botanical Gardens, I think we're seeing there, and Jurong Bird Park as well. Look at the skyline, oh. absolutely incredible. You could go and do a, a nighttime um, river cruise as well, because you've got two nights. Now, I mentioned Universals. There's so much to do. And again, if you're a bit lost, just ask Planet Cruise, because they'll sort all and, the excursions out. And the great thing is uh, Planet Cruise have so many connections across the world in terms of hotels and airlines. We're going to give you the most amazing five-star hotel for two nights, and that is included in the price. Yeah. Then, of course, we are transferred to the port. All, all transfers are always included with Planet. 
and you've got a 10 nights cruise. Yeah. The first night, day is at sea, isn't it? It is a nice day at sea to sort of get to know the ship a bit and enjoy some of the facilities. And then you sail into Koh Samui. And my voice has gone really high because I would <laughs> like to be doing that right now. I've been to Koh Samui. It's absolutely stunning. It is like something out of a Bond film. The water is that amazing is, colour. Is it, the is sand it, is, is the that sand white. Really that white. Yeah, so. and soft. And it doesn't make your hands dry. It's kind yeah. of like, it is amazingly and, silky. And what kind of temperature is the sea? Oh, like a bath. Just oh. beautiful. Even my mum wouldn't complain. <laughs> she does not like cold water. No, absolutely gorgeous. And you'll get the little ladies on the beach who do you a massage for about sort of a pound. And it's just it's just absolutely amazing. So that's Koh Samui. And then you've got, um, then we're actually sailing as a total contrast to Bangkok. And this is where all your senses will be assailed and you've got an overnight on board. Everyone that's, that I know that's been to Bangkok said it's unique, it's magical, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's certainly a different pace to Koh Samui, um, which I think you're still seeing now. Oh, now we're in Bangkok, yeah. Bangkok is hustle, bustle, markets, it just, yeah, craziness. Um, yeah, sort of strange we're, 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 smells, sounds. Everyone says it's like electric, it's, you know, so Yeah, happening. and you can go to the night markets, you've got an overnight on board, you could go and visit Jim Thompson's house. So there's a lot to do, amazing cheap shopping. And, and the great thing is if you're never ever unsure what to do, the, 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 the customer service on board the ship, so it will give you so much advice, they can help oh, you organize yeah. trips, excursions. And it's quite nice to have the ship to go back to though, so if yes, you go is. and have, because yeah. it can get quite humid in Bangkok as well, you know, so it's so good to see, but it is quite nice to come back to the kind of absolute luxury afterwards. You can go some sort of elephant trekking as well if you come slightly out of the main city. So, you know, temples to go and visit. There's so much to do there in lovely Thailand. That does look really loads of fun. Yeah. And then we're off to Cambodian. We're going to see Nukville in Cambodia. And then we've got a day at sea. And then on day 11, you then sail into Nha Trang in Vietnam. Um, so you can see on the map there exactly the route that you're taking. And then day 12, you're going to Ho Chi Minh, which is a very historic place, say, really. Yeah. Have you seen any of the Sue Perkins thing on the Mekong River recently as well? It's been a really interesting series that some of the viewers may have seen. No, I haven't. And so you will sort of go bypass the, the, the Mekong Delta. And of course, Ho Chi Minh used to be Saigon. Um, it was renamed in 1976. So you'll still see lots of stuff like t-shirts and things with Saigon written on them. But you've got, you know, skyscrapers, but also Buddhist and Hindu temples. You've got, um, of course, it was a former war zone as well. So there's lots of history. You could go and visit the Coochie Tunnels as well, which has obviously played a big part during the war. Shopping, culture, historic treasures, lovely people, and an amazing kind of different culture to the one that we know. So it's a real experience. And then you've got another day at sea, and then you're wrapping things off by arriving back in Singapore, disembarking, and flying back home. And first of all, this is a trip of a lifetime. It's bespoke to Planet Cruise, and we've actually lowered the price right now it is down to £1,759 per person you know I, I, I really would love to travel to all of those countries and I would hate to do it you know, you know without having the support I think you feel you. safe don't you because it's all organized for yeah. you so you don't have to worry about oh where have I booked where am I staying how do I organize that you know visas all that kind oh, of thing I... so if you go on a cruise it's just simple yeah. you just book it and then you go and as you say it's a very <laughs> safe secure very well organised environment absolutely, as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and that just means that you'll enjoy the entire experience. You won't be stressed, you won't be worried no, about anything. It's not down to you to organise it. You no. haven't got your other half going, where have you booked? <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Um, now, an amazing price. Eh? This is a new lower price tonight. Uh, all of your return flights are included. Again, we, we can pr provide flights from most UK airports. Um, so do give us a call if, you know, the London flights aren't maybe right for you. Uh, you're on board 10 nights of course the legend of the seas and your overnight on board in Bangkok as well that truly is a trip of a lifetime and exclusive to the award-winning planet cruise as well only deposit needed uh, right now as well it works out 126 pounds per person per night which is an excellent value wow I think all your food as well is included it's oh. hard to it's, get your head around how much is included as well the food is going to be I know we keep talking about food but it will oh, be wonderful. amazing it yeah. really will yeah but it's time to move on to our next cruise, and this is with
Princess Cruises on board the Royal Princess and stunning, mm -hmm. stunning ship. Um, on board the uh, so Regal Princess, rather, and this is your chance of being away 11 nights, Scandinavia and Russia as well. Let's take you on board and just talk you through. Again, Princess Cruises have got an amazing reputation, haven't they? Oh, they're a very, very well-known, trusted cruise line that people go back to again and again and again. And the Regal Princess made her debut in spring 2014. And the 3,600 passenger ship is a sister to the new Royal Princess, so shares as many of the um, features from that ship, so perhaps you know it. So it's a very new ship. You've got balconies on 80% of her cabins, um, a huge feeling of space on board, you know, so you'll never feel crowded, you'll never feel like you're amongst as many people are yeah, as are actually on board. We often get, you know, I often get asked, you know, are the ships crowded and things, but no, there is so much space. You can always yeah. find, you know, quiet areas, quiet bars. Absolutely. And, you know, they've got some, I oh, know, this is gorgeous, doesn't it? Oh. Some really nice features. You can see all the lovely restaurants here and you can see how, you know, upmarket they they are, you know, how you're going to really dine in style and at different ones because you've got Sabatini's, you've got the Crown Grill, you've got, you know, the Pizzeria, so you can go somewhere different and not get bored. And then how about a movie under the stars as well, something princess I mean, do really and well. I, you know, I, I, I've had that experience and it is magical. Oh, so nice. They give Wonderful. you a little blanket in case it's slightly chilly and then you can hit the dance floor or just curl up with the book. You know, this is the thing. You do what you like on a cruise. You'll have some nights where you're maybe right in the middle of all that action and other nights where you're just taking easy shows as and I, well. And the shows are a big part of it for me, you know, because I, you know, I love going to the West End, but you're talking about £100 a ticket a lot of the time oh, now. Oh, yeah. And the shows, the standards are exceptional. And the state rooms, Again, you'll never go on a you know a princess cruise and find that the staterooms need a little bit of TLC. The oh standards no! Are Clean, comfortable, incredible. amazing bed linen. You know, it's those little things actually that I do really notice. Actually, yeah, you, you forget how comfy the beds always oh, are. Oh, and it's so yeah. soothing as well because on a ship that size, you don't really feel that you're at sea, but it's the, you have got that slight sort of soothing motion. I yeah. love it. You'll you get will a great night's sleep. Adore seat. your princess experience on board the Regal Princess now. Let's uh, show you where you're going to be cruising from. So we're flying you over to Copenhagen, first of all, aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely, and then you'll transfer from the airport to the, to the port and embark the ship for 11 nights. And on day two, you'll be sailing into Oslo, so the capital of Norway. And actually, as the ship approaches, you'll approach through the Oslo Fjord. Um, so, yeah, cameras at the ready, yeah. basically. Amazing scenery. Um, but you've also got lovely modern architecture in Oslo, parks, museums, um, you've got famous things like the screen painting in their National Gallery, so lots to do and see. Day three, we sail to Gothenburg in Sweden, and then day four, we arrive in Berlin, which is a really um, very happening city as well. We're still in Sweden here. Doesn't it look pretty, Gothenburg? It looks sort of almost like a fairy tale place, doesn't it? It's magical, yeah. Yeah. Then we're arriving uh, off to Berlin, which is on day four, to Warnemunde is the port, and very happening place. I love Berlin, it's got a great feel to it, it really is. And then day five, you're at sea. Day six, we sail into Tallinn, which is in Estonia. And the kind of biggest attraction that cruise passengers tend to go to is the remarkably restored medieval old town, which is amazing. You've still got like the cobblestone streets and medieval architecture that basically hasn't really changed for about 600 years. So it is a bit like being in a storybook and beautiful palaces, ancient towers, but it's also quite an artsy place. It's, it's lovely. It really is fairy tale surroundings and go um, up to Tumpi Hill as well. Then... Because I, I am desperate to visit St. Petersburg. Uh, and we're overnight here, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, really. If you're going to choose somewhere to have an overnight, if you've yeah. never been for St. Petersburg, they've planned this perfectly. Um, obviously, there's so much history, uh, you know, I from the Cold War to the sort of Tsar time in St. Petersburg. I think there's still a lot of the architecture that I'd love to see. There are palaces galore. Yeah, and the, the river, opulence. you could even get a boat and go down the river and see a lot from just a boat ride. Or you can choose a couple to go and actually go inside and have a look. But you've got the ballet, you've got, you know, and um, Peter the Great founded the city. And basically he was inspired by London, Paris and Vienna. So it's got a real mixture about it. And these big onion domed churches that you saw there as well. So, fascinating place, loads of history. It was obviously involved in the, in the war as well, Second World War. Go to the Hermitage Museum. 
There are places galore to see. St. Isaac's Cathedral. Day nine, though, we're then off to another really fascinating place, Helsinki in Finland, before we arrive on day... T oh, there it is. Beautiful coloured waterfront there. And then we're going off to Stockholm in Sweden, where you'll definitely want to go and visit Gamla Stan, which means, and literally is, Old Town. So again, you've got these amazing coloured buildings. Um, you've got an 18th century royal palace on top of the hill. And, you know, the great thing about being on a cruise as well, Stockholm's known for being sort of a little bit expensive, but you can eat on, sh on board as is and a, then go and do all your as sightseeing. A, as was Helsinki as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah it you, is. You're so right, Gemma. You know, I always sort of like have a really hearty breakfast, go, you know, go and have a wander yeah. around and come back, generally speaking, for afternoon tea. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and actually, you're just about hungry by the time time you're, <laughs> you're yeah, after the big breakfast that I eat. Um, so yes, and then we're off to Copenhagen, which will be day 12 by then, because you've had another day at sea, and then you um, go back to the airport and fly home. Now, while you're on board this beautiful ship, wouldn't it be nice to have some spending money? What about if you wanted maybe a spa treatment? What about if you wanted to, to you know, buy some drinks on an evening. Uh, what about if you want to do some shopping? Well, the great thing is, and this is exclusive to Planet Cruise, we're going to give you some onboard spend, a minimum of $400. So has so much yeah. money. It yeah, is. It's a lot of money. And the thing is, on cruise ships, you do have shops where you'll be yeah. tempted to buy a few goodies. Or, for me, the spa is such a luxury, the chance to just... And Unwind. And the way this will work, by the way, uh, when you get on board, you'll be given a sea pass. Uh, you'll be using that for, for anything that you buy on the cruise. It's a little bit like a credit card. Um, but you'll already have at least $400 on your sea pass. <laughs> so if you, you know, the moment you board, you'll have your sea pass. If you want to go to the bar and, uh, you know, buy a drink, you'll already have money on your sea pass to buy those. Um, and we will give you a minimum of $400. This is exclusive to Planet Cruise, up to Four hundred and eighty-five dollars, depending on your depending on your stateroom. That is exclusive. It's free. It's an awful lot of spending money. Return flights there as well. We can also provide flights from most UK airports, of course, as well. And the pricing, we've got great prices for interior, balcony, and we even have some mini suites available as well. And don't forget, if you've just got any questions, if you need more information, you can give us a call on our free phone number, which is 0800 840 1088. Can I just say thank you to everybody that's uh, already booked a cruise with us. And if we haven't tempted you so far, don't forget, we can find you any cruise with any cruise liner any time of the year. So give us a call right now. Now, you will speak to a very, very experienced team, amazing cruise consultants, and we're actually joined by one of them right now, the fabulous Chris. It was nice to see you again, Nice to Chris. see you again. Thank you very much Hello. for having me. Um, great to have you on the show. And uh, first of all, you're back, and you worked on board the cruise ships for many years, didn't you? Yes, yeah, on uh, Celebrity Foremost, actually, most wow. of the ships there. For four years, was that right? Yeah, four years. And now you're one of the great guys in the in the call centre helping our viewers pick a cruise, is that right? That's right, I'll be on the phone when you uh, call in. Yeah, not tonight, we should not say, tonight. yes, <laughs> when you're here. That would be multitasking yeah. to a ridiculous <laughs> degree. Um, now, I, mean, I know we've got a huge loyal following. I mean, we're always busy, aren't we, on a Tuesday evening. That's right. But for anyone that's new to cruising, why Planet Cruise? Why are, why are you such a great agent, an award-winning agent, Chris? Well, first of all, we're the UK's largest independent cruise retailer. Wow. We, uh, we are the biggest in the UK. You can't go better than that. No. We are multi-award winning. We also have a 95% customer service feedback rating at the moment, which is very consistent very, for us. Yeah, mm. very high. Yeah. Most of our team have also uh, spent time on ships or they've sailed as a passenger. Like me, they've worked on ships for years. So between us, we have uh, decades of experience with ships. Yeah. And, and because you are such a, you know, a, a huge independent cruise agency, you can find us any cruise, can't you, with any company? That's correct, yeah. We work with all cruise lines, all sailings. We don't leave anybody out. We also like to tailor-make, which is our speciality. Uh, so if you're going to a destination, you want to spend extra time there at the beginning or the end, we look to uh, individualise that for you, personalise it. If you want to do a layover somewhere in a, a random city in the world, we'll, we'll do it for you. We're, we're there to listen and take on board what you want, and we'll make you the perfect vacation. So, you know, it's, it's gentlemen and ladies like Chris, with all of this experience, that you'll be speaking to. They're really going to help you if you are a first-time cruiser. They're really there to help. 
And even if you're an experienced cruiser, they'll tell you about the great deals and what's going to be suitable for you. <laughs> now, one of my favourite companies, and I've cruised them several times, this celebrity, Chris, worked on board for many, many years. So, I think I'll hand over to you, Chris. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk through the celebrity experience. Well, uh, where do I begin? They, they like to brand themselves as modern luxury, and that's exactly what they are. They are... Uh, our premium cruise line, 11 ships in the fleet. The Solstice class, which we're looking at right now, is the one we're going to be focusing on. It's a ship that I've worked on for three of the four years. Very happy to say it's a very, very beautiful ship. There's plenty to do on board. They love their uh, architecture and yes. art absolutely everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's something to see that's absolutely stunning. Uh, they have the most humongous bar at sea. It's called the Aqua Spa. Uh, and in relation to that, they have staterooms called the Aqua Class staterooms. Maybe if you're looking for something a little bit more healthy than the uh, cakes and the chocolate extravaganzas that you see mm -hmm. on some cruise lines, we have the Aqua Class for you. And uh, that's associated with the spa in terms that there's a, a private space there just for Aqua Class guests. It's uh, heated stone beds, sauna, steam room. Perfect. Uh, ev class. Well, everything is perfect with celebrity. I've just booked my next cruise, actually, uh, in January. Mm. Sorry, Gemma, you'll be without <laughs> me for a few weeks. Um, we've got an outstanding cruise tonight though, haven't we? Real trip of a lifetime. Yeah. And this is one we've tailor-made ourselves. Yes, you have, haven't you? So it's exclusive. Um, we, we often get questions um, about the drinks packages and things like that. Now, on this cruise, our viewers get to choose, don't they? A, a drinks package or tips or onboard spend. Can you just explain this a bit for us, Chris? Yes, that's right. So we like to give choice to our guests. If you're booking an ocean view or higher on this particular sailing, and many others with celebrity as well, you get a choice of either the classic drinks package, which is including alcohol. It's... Um, Beer up to uh, six dollars a time, wine dollars up to eight, uh, wine up to eight dollars a time, and spirits up to eight dollars a time, unlimited throughout the cruise. Wow! So if you are away for twelve nights, that you know to have that included, yeah, that would cost you and I really quite help. a lot, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, especially because you. it's your soft drinks as well, isn't it? Of All the non-alcoholic yeah. options are included in that. Um, if you don't, you know, if you're not somebody that you know, if you think, well, that doesn't bother me, you, you, there are alternatives. It could be tips, couldn't it? Right, that's just one option. Yeah. Tips are included there as well as another option. Uh, that'll take care of your housekeeping team and the dining room team that look after you oh so well on the ship. Uh, or the alternative is the onboard spend, which we mentioned for the other deal. Yeah. We'll give it away on this itinerary as well. Uh, $300 for wow. uh, you to spend on board. So, you know, you will have an amazing time. And, Jimmy, you're going to talk us through the itinerary here because it is a trip of a lifetime, Auckland to Sydney, isn't it? Yeah, and I think going to New Zealand is about as far as you can go from here. So you've got a flight at the beginning, which will obviously take a little bit of time, and then you'll arrive and transfer to a hotel for two nights so you can kind of acclimatise a little bit, but also see some of Auckland. I mean, how exciting. You're in New Zealand. So lots to do and see. It's obviously really beautiful and it's fabulous proximity to the water means you're never going to be far from the waterfront which is bustling and you, you can go downtown to Wahiki Island which is like a little hippie hangout with beautiful vistas and amazing wine make making culture and, and just point out we are there two nights uh, in a beautiful yes. Hampton hotel from Panic absolutely Cruise, aren't we? yeah which and is really is nice absolutely all included and then after that you transfer to celebrity Sol solstice and you're off for 12 nights cruising and on day six you'll find yourself sailing into the Bay of Islands, which has a subtropical microclimate, basically, so it's known for stunning beauty. And then day seven, you're in Taranga. Um, day eight, you've got a lovely day at sea just to enjoy the ship. And then day nine, you arrive in Wellington, which is, of course, New Zealand's capital city, located at the southern tip of the Northern Island. Um, so according to Maori legend, the two main islands of New Zealand are actually the great canoe of Maui um, I've, I've and, only... and the giant fish. <laughs> so one is the north and one is the south. I've only ever heard great things about New Zealand. Yeah, I mean, it's just that feeling of space that you yeah. get that side of the world. The same as when you go to Australia, you know, it's not very populated and it's vast. So wherever you go, Unlike our little island here, it's yeah, very crowded. Bit, it's that yeah, incredible feeling of space. Yeah. Right next to Gemma. You can even go on the Lord of the Rings tour, by the way. Um, yeah, and then day 10, you're in Akaroa. Day 11, you sail into Dunedin. 
which is located on the peninsula on the South Island of New, Ze of, uh, New Zealand. Um, it looks amazing. Yeah, this is a really popular port with cruise ship passengers actually because the city is very compact but you've got really interesting sort of museums and galleries. You've even got Cadbury's World, amazing fresh seafood if you fancy it um, and lots of history as well is where all the sort of gold digging used to happen back in the day. Then day 12, you're cruising through Dusky Sound, Doubtful Sound, and Milford Sound. Now, these are basically enormous fjords. So if you've ever been to Norway, well, think of on an even bigger scale. Well, I mean, I, I, I was on the cruise around the Norwegian fjords earlier this year, and I would that would really, really tempt Absolutely me. Oh, my word, majestic. Jimmy, yeah. And of course, you can be on deck you know, on the ship, this is how you want to see this kind of scenery with your cameras, just feeling like a tiny little dot on the planet looking at this beautiful scenery. So then you've got another couple of days um, of sailing and then day 15 you sail into Hobart in Tasmania and then, good accent, and then day 16 <laughs> you've got another you day so <laughs> Yes, yeah, really good. I'm going to get a part in Neighbours. And then day 17 you arrive in Sydney and at this point you disembark the ship and you transfer to a hotel for another two night stay, which is amazing because Sydney is so stunning. Of course you've got the famous Opera House. But again, what I remember from going to Sydney is that feeling of absolute space and you are never far from the water. Everything's very sort of clean, everybody's extremely laid back. Um, you've got all the amazing beaches, but also the city to, to sort of go around and, and these amazing places to eat right by the water. It's so beautiful. And, and, and ju just to mention again, because Chris is with us across some Planet Cruise, this is a bespoke package that Planet Cruise have put together. So you've chosen all of the best hotels. That's exactly right. This is actually uh, one that somebody called in about and we created it for them and now oh, we have really? it on sale for everybody wow. else. Yeah. Amazing. And similarly on that, if you wanted to, you know, it's a long way to fly to Sydney in one go. So you could do a stopover in Dubai. We can totally create whatever you'd like there. Yeah, but I think I would maybe do that if I was going to Auckland, maybe have a stopover on the way. So it's great because of course Planet Cruise can create yes. that. Anything is possible, it really is. Um, and then of course, um, you're transferred from the hotel to the airport and you've got your flight home, haven't you? Yes, yes, absolutely. What well, optic when you decide to... Just yeah. emigrate, yes, yeah. Yes, pop off in Dubai, <laughs> as we mentioned. The ships, just getting back to the ships, Chris, you worked with Celebrity for several years. I've cruised with Celebrity. I think I've just put my fifth cruise with them. They've won numerous awards, haven't they? Oh, numerous yes. Awards. Every kind of award you can imagine they've, yeah. they've conquered. Their food quality is the, the most special thing I'd say about them. Mm. I, honestly, I could, not fault, I could not fault my Celebrity experience, you know. I And I know that every aspect of this cruise will be perfect. So remember, you choose from either the free classic drinks package, the free tips, or the free onboard spend on the ocean view above. Return flights, they're all taken care of. They are, um, we can find this on most UK airports. You've got two nights in Auckland and Sydney. Again, Planet Cruise have included this. One special thing we have to mention is if you take a concierge class room, which is a little step up from a balcony room, you're going to get all three of those special things. Really? Yeah. And there's the prices for the concierge. If you, if you do go for those, um, they're all balcony rooms concierge, aren't they? But a, a higher grade. There's little extras that you can include in there on a nice balcony room. You get your room. bottle of fizz as well, don't you? Bottle of fizz, shoe shine if you like, yeah. a canopy sent to your room every day, very nice. And you know, and, um, if, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure, don't worry because if you give us a call on our free phone number right now, 0800 840 1088, you'll be speaking to, not Chris tonight, <laughs> But one of the cruise consultants like Chris with a wealth of knowledge who's going to help you and talk you through. So, Chris, thank you so much. Yeah, Absolutely my pleasure. How do we get hold of a t shirt? That's what I want to know, yeah, Jimmy. Thank you. Yeah. Edition, you've got to work <laughs> for the company. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stan. Um, if you do miss anything on the show, or maybe you've joined us halfway through, you can watch the show online. So from um, tomorrow, you've got to watch the show online on the Planet Cruise website, planetcruise.co.uk forward slash TV. You can also watch us on our YouTube channel, of course, as well. Um, or, as I just mentioned, on our website as well. So just to show, this is the website. Now, at the moment, you'll get um, the Friday morning show will be on there, but from tomorrow, you'll be able to watch this show throughout the week. And all of the best TV deals are on there as well. And there's a really bad picture of me there. Mm -hmm. uh, now, let's recap. <laughs>
all of the, the great, great cruises that we've had live. It's been an amazing show. And thank you to everybody that's placed a booking with us. We started off with Cruise and Maritime. This is a half price offer tonight on board the, the latest addition to their fleet, which is the Magellan there. Uh, this was uh, nearly £1,060. It is half price right now. It's a great chance of an eight night cruise around the Scottish Isles there. You can get a chance to visit Edinburgh when the festival's on, of course. And it's at 529. Great single special at 829. Very nice for that, wasn't yeah. it? Now, we know how busy it will have been for Costa. This was a top seller. It's been brought back by popular demand. Imagine getting away to Dubai in January, February, March, getting all those great, great temperatures. The, the flight alone, do, do, do think about what that would cost you at this time of year. Your flights are included. The single special is amazing at 699, and that will have been a top seller again. We then moved on to our next cruise, which was with P and O. Now, don't forget, uh, if you book this tonight, you only need to find £50 per person deposit. Yeah, honestly, um, £50 is all we ask, so you can secure your cabin tonight. And I think that's one of the lowest deposits we've ever, ever had. And the price there is just £699. We then moved on to Royal Caribbean, that amazing cruise on board the legend of the seas brand new low price on this one 40 nights to thailand cambodia and vietnam and this is tailor made it's bespoke you will not find this anywhere else apart from with planet cruise of course we then had that outstanding cruise with princess on board the regal princess uh, it's the 11 nights scandinavia and russia cruise there from copenhagen again we are going to give you on board spend of at least $400 and that is exclusive to Planet Cruise of course. And then finally a big thank you to Chris. Uh, he came and joined us from of course the Planet Cruise headquarters and he's told us all about this amazing cruise with Celebrity at remember a price of £2,499 per person there. Uh, we also had that amazing hot pick. If you're maybe thinking, you know, a fancy mini cruise, just a little taster, this is a great one. It's on board the five star Queen Elizabeth. It's uh, in January, you're going to get all of your drinks included, so you get the all inclusive drinks package, and the price there is under £400. Do you know, you wouldn't even get, a, you know, an average B&B in the UK with your food and drinks mm. included for that price, would you? No. And then don't forget, um, our second show is always on Friday at 11 a.m. And if you want to stay in touch, various ways to do that our newsletter the journey magazine or of course our brand new website and we'd love you of course to tweet us um, interact on facebook our youtube channel is there and you can email us as well and chris i think you know he was great in terms of covering some of the great reasons why you should book with planet cruise um Gemma, thank you so much. Thank you. Great it's been show, lovely. Wasn't it? Yeah, really, really nice. It's been exciting. All those wonderful destinations. Well, I'll see you next Tuesday yes, at definitely. eight. We'll see you next Tuesday at eight. Book your cruise right now. Don't forget it's a free front number.